In the heat of the pandemic, a group of Colorado men came together to start a new business in agriculture. And despite the challenges of COVID-19, they have managed to get their new farm up and running, something that for years had only been a dream. Here is Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez. About one hour east of Denver, Colorado's land opens up for miles in every direction. It's mostly farmland out here where a lot of it's uh, commodity crops, soy, wheat, sunflowers. But at Sugar Moon, their product doesn't exactly come from the land. Rather, these completely transformed shipping containers. Starting here in these small plastic bags. There's nothing that I enjoy more than seeing a, a successful mushroom growing. For Irving Reza, these mushrooms are the result of years of hard work and a dream of running his own farm. In the past, I had a difficulty uh, obtaining work. So I would go to interviews, they would interview me, interview me and everything would be fine, but then uh, I wouldn't get a, a call back. So, you know, sometimes you have to be uh, your own boss and uh, you have to take a the risk. The risk he and his partner took increased tenfold when they decided to open up last fall in the middle of the pandemic. Restaurants closing impacted us by cutting out half our sales. Um, basically, we were in grocery stores with our microgreens, which kept us going. Several harvests later, Sugar Moon Mushroom has found its feet and distributes its produce to different restaurants and organizations in the Denver metro area. In Colorado, like uh, mushrooms have grown a, a lot in popularity in the last few years. Not only do they help fill the increasing demand of mushrooms, but they do so in an ingenious way, battling the elements of Colorado's dry land and creating their own environment for mushrooms to flourish. Well, it's not a, not the perfect, but it's a, it does uh, well enough, but it's better than somewhere like Arizona, where it's really dry and very little water. After several weeks of growth, every mushroom eventually makes its way to the prepping and packing stage. From this small farm in Bennett to the tables of Coloradans across the front range, Sugar Moon Mushroom hopes to make a lasting impression with every mushroom they grow. Ivan Rodriguez, then for seven. And if you'd like to try Sugar Moon Mushrooms for yourself, you get a gourmet mix starting at around $5 a box. And you can find more information on EastDenverFoodHub.com or on Sugar Moon's Facebook or Instagram.